Damn, I used uh, Manic Monday by the Bengals. Who would have known that that would uh, be blocked in a few countries? So already, I'll have to share it lightly. I'll have to interpret what I said here. I'm trying to listen. Kissing Valentino by Italian stream. Yeah. The evolution of the Bengals. Unless you're driving to work like this, then you got problems. We'll do the Carlton. Oh, what's the sprinkler? I don't know. You gotta, you have to show me twinkles. Ups and downs, ups and downs of the week. It is Wednesday here. It's not Monday. It's safe to say. Safe to say. Okay. That's true. I was a boy. Bigger boy. Bigger boy. Another creature with had bird like like a leopard, I think. Or maybe I'm getting it wrong. With four with four wings. Yes, of course. The reason why I hit those topics because I felt All right, the topics, the topics. All right. All right, just another manic Monday. But I wish it was Sunday. Cause that's my fun day. I um yeah, there's promises, a lot of promises, you know. Yeah, take care of the lobbyists, take care of the people, go do speeches, I know, I know. Right? I mean, if, just think if I was, uh, I don't know, Bill Clinton's son, or Obama's son, or Obama's daughter, or, um, I don't know, uh, Al Roker's son, uh, Brad Pitt's son. Just think if I was, or if I was Gene Simmons' son, for that matter, or his daughter. I mean, just think if I was at school and I was, I was Gene Simmons' son. I mean, people uh, would call to me. Next thing you know, they probably want me to do speeches. I wouldn't have to do anything. So the the power of celebrityism, you know, and that that's what we have today. And the whole thing with the rights, the rights, the rights, the rights. Um, all right. I think we need we, we we can safely discuss that here this morning. I mean, we can be done by four o'clock. It only takes one person to come over and um, you know get in into the, the to the mix. You know, I mean, instead of like just like uh, uh, what's his name, Mark Mark Garagos and uh, Sonny Houston were having a little discussion last night, and uh, you know, Sonny, I don't know if. if uh, anybody watches that station but anyway Mark Garrigo is just like let's face it I mean he's a lawyer uh, I think I think he was the one who uh, represented OJ I'm not sure uh, probably yes I think because him and Marsha Clark on back yes he was the defense lawyer and all that but um, he said racists exist hey, people talk about it behind closed doors the conversations that they say and all this and why is it still here? Why? You know, it's something we ha we didn't even hear of in a long time. And now all of a sudden, look. Now, I may not be the right one to do this, to talk about this. But then again, I'm searching for somebody who is out there, well-known, that is changing the way we, we, we see things and the way we go about fixing things. Not just finding someone, pointing out things, just like with the thing that I learned through Crispo, the minute we're having a discussion, he, the only thing he can think of is throwing uh, the Duck Dynasty thing, you know, because Christians uh, are seen to be the problem. It's like, you Christians are hypocrites. 
And yes, there's all kinds of uh, dominations of Christians, you know. And there's all kinds of religions, you know. My whole take on, on everything is let live, you know, live and let live, let it be, let people believe in whatever they want to believe in. Because they have to learn, you know. And if it's the right thing, then it's the right thing. But if it's not, they're going to know. At some point, they're going to say, you know, this is not right. And then they'll do something different. But, you know, to go and, and like look for people's weaknesses and soft spots all day, that's fine. I'm prepared for all that. Proper planning prevents poor performance. And you're on the West Fund Radio.